We may be evolved, but deep down, we are still animals. Oh, quit it! You're gonna start a howl! <laughs> I love Disney movies, and one of my favorite things about Disney movies is trying to find all the hidden Easter eggs and references in the films. Zootopia, the latest Disney animated film, like its predecessors, is full of these fun little hidden treasures. So today I'm going to break down a mix of some things you might not know about the movie and some Easter eggs to look out for in the film. Now first off, this is coming from me, um, I've only seen the movie once, so these are just the little things I noticed on first watch. I'm sure there's way more Easter eggs, which I want to know if you found them in the comments below, but here's what I picked up on. First, the movie gives a shout out to one of my favorite movie animals, Emmett Otter. Um, I feel like not a lot of people know who he is, but I grew up on Jim Henson's Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. I still watch it every Christmas. And in Zootopia, Judy Hopps is assigned to the case of finding a missing otter named Emmett Otterden. Uh, director Byron Howard has revealed in interviews that the name is definitely an honor to our barbecue loving friend. Let's get a bird and girl dancing to junk band music. And I miss him always barbecue. Barbecue. This my spirit. I swear that it never fails. Speaking of other name drops, there's a sneaky weasel in the film who's named Duke Weaselton. Does that sound familiar to you? Hmm. If you're a fan of Frozen, then it might. You remember that crazy dancing duke in the film? Yeah, you know the Duke of Weselton, which the characters obviously made the mistake of calling the Duke of Weaseltown? Your Majesty, the Duke of Weaseltown. Weselton! Duke of Weselton. Yep, that's the little connection right there. Oh, but it doesn't stop there because actor Alan Tudyk voices both of those characters. And the Frozen references, though, they do not stop there. There's a scene where Judy is in Chief Bogo's office and he's telling her that life basically isn't, well, a fairy tale. And he takes a little bit of a jab at Let It Go. <laughs> life isn't some cartoon musical where you sing a little song and your insipid dreams magically come true. So let it go. I think he's tired of hearing that song just as much as we are, because let's face it, it's never gonna die. But bringing it back to Duke Weaselton, did you notice all the DVDs he was trying to sell on the street? They're all references to other Disney movies like Wreck-It Ralph, Tangled, and Frozen, but basically animal-fied, which uh, I think isn't a word, but you know what I mean. Moving along to even more Frozen fun, because let's just get real, everybody's obsessed with Frozen whether it's good or bad. An image from Zootopia was released early, and if you look closely, you'll see two young elephants wearing the Anna and Elsa dresses. And, in fact, Anna is in Zootopia. Wait, you didn't catch her? That's because it's not exactly Anna, but it is Kristen Bell who does the voice of Anna. She voices Priscilla the Sloth in that famous DMV scene, which had to be a dream come true, because if you know anything about Kristen Bell, you know she is obsessed with sloths. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Priscilla. Oh, no. Yes. Flash? What? <gasps> Do. No! You call. A three humped camel! Um. Another voice you might hear briefly in the movie comes from Scandal star Katie Lowe's, who voices the Badger Doctor. It's only a tiny part, but I think she wants nannied for someone who was pretty big at Disney, so she provided a lot of voices. She's been a part of the last three Disney animated movies, as well as that awesome short feast, which I am obsessed with. Now, if you're a fan of Breaking Bad, you'll definitely want to keep your ears open, because you'll catch a reference to the show when you hear the names of Walter and Jesse. Now, I won't give away how they fit into the plot, because it's kind of a big part of the plot, but it definitely got a great chuckle from all the adults in the theater. Disney movies are always known for great songs, and the main song in this film is called Try Everything, which is performed by Zootopia's resident pop star, Gazelle, who is voiced by none other than Shakira. Um, the little fun fact about this song, it's written by Sia. Yeah, Sia, who writes such amazing songs. Um, I feel like this could be nominated for an Oscar next year. Try everything. I'm Gazelle. Welcome to Zootopia. Another fun fact about the film is that it was originally supposed to focus on Nick Wilde the Fox over Judy Hopps, but audiences ended up responding more to Judy. Part was reworked and it gave Jennifer Goodwin um, a chance to really bring a special touch to this ambitious bunny. And all this happened just a little over a year before the movie was released. Talk about waiting till the last minute. All right, so those are just some of the things you might not have known about Zootopia. If you saw the film and found more Easter eggs, let me know in the comments below because I'm sure there's a Moana Easter egg somewhere in there, right? That's the next Disney animated movie and they're usually known for putting something from the next movie 
in their current movie, but I didn't see it on first glance, so I might actually have to go back to the theater to see if I can find that, unless you tell me where it was in the comments below. And if you want to check out my review of the film, I got that for you here because I just love watching movies and rambling about them <laughs> because that's, that's what I do. Um, but be sure to subscribe, hit me up on socials. I hope to see you again here soon. Go see Zootopia, let me know what you think of it, and I hope you have a good one. For even more awesome Shine On Media videos, be sure to click those little boxes below and don't forget to subscribe.